Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I did a very themed look. Now that we are in 2020, we are basically back in the roaring 20s. So naturally, my very first look for the year had to be a 20s look. Now, I will mention this later on in the video, but this isn't the most authentic 20s look. This is more of a 2020 version of the 20s look. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep watching. For brows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. This is a really pretty neutral dark brown. And I'm applying it with their number 12 brush, which is honestly one of my all-time favorite brow brushes. Now, in the 20s, they definitely styled the very, very thin brows. But in the new 2020s, as we know, we don't want to mess with our natural brows that much. So all I'm really going to do is enhance what I already have. But keeping with the sharpness of the brows that they used to have, I'm going to make sure to clean it up and try to keep it nice and precise. For primer, I'm using my current favorite, the P. Louise Base and Rumor 2. You know the drill to clean up the brows and prime the eyelid. And I'm using my Delium Tools 936 brush. For shadows, I'm using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and I'm going to start with this shade Musk. And I'm going to apply that with the Morphe M330. It's a very fluffy, just blending brush, but instead of being flat at the top, it's actually got the teeniest bit of a taper. I'm going to pick up the shadow with just the tip of the brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Amber, which is a little more like a warm terracotta. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush. And then using that same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Oud, which is a little bit more of like a warm chocolate. Then I'm going to go with that first brush and a little bit more of that musk shade to just add to the crease. Then I'm going in with Rumor Zero, which is just P. Louise's white shade and that original 936 brush. And I'm not going to do a full cut crease. I'm really just going to use this to brighten up that area so that that way when I apply the next shadow, it's really nice and bright. Next, I'm going in with the shade Cashmere, which is this really pretty warm kind of pewter shade, and I'm going to apply that with the Morphe M224. Then for liner, I'm using the Huda Beauty Life Liner, and I'm actually going to use both ends of this. If you don't know, this one has a pencil liner, but it also has a liquid liner on the other side. And next, I'm going in with the pencil side. Then going in with the Morphe M326, I'm going to blur that out. And I like this brush more because instead of being like a traditional pencil brush, it's actually got a little bit of an edge and like a flatter side, but it's very small. And then next, I'll just apply mascara before lashes. Then for lashes, I'm going in with the Dame's Night Out Lash Trio from Dame Boss, and I'm actually going to use this bottom pair, which is the biggest and fluffiest. For primer, I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grit Primer. This is one of my absolute favorite primers. It's very hydrating, and it makes sure that your skin stays moisturized throughout the day. But it also really helps the longevity of the makeup. I mean, I've told you guys about it before, so you know. So I'm going to take one pump of that. For foundation, I'm using my absolute favorite foundation. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, and this is the shade Baklava, or 340G. I'm going to take two pumps of that, and I'm going to apply that with my damp beauty blender. 
For concealer, I'm using the Overachiever Concealer from Huda Beauty in Cookie Dough 14N. For powder, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread. And I'm just going to apply that with the back of my beauty blender. For bronzer, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream to Powder in Light. And I'm using the Cover FX Contour Brush for this, and that's because it has this smaller side, which is great for applying it, and then this fluffier side to blend it out. For blush, I'm using the Milani Blush in Tea Rose. And I'm going to apply it with my Morphe E4 brush. Then for highlight, we're going to use the Dose of Colors and I Love Sad Eye Highlight in Bathe, which is just this really pretty, like, champagne-y pink color. And I'm applying this with one of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brushes. And then next for the eyes, I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm actually going to put white in my waterline. Traditionally, they would do black, but like I said, this is a little bit more of a fun twist. If you do want to do it more authentic, use black. If you want to do it more fun, use white. Then we're going to go back with that same small brush from Morphe in the shade Oud, and we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. And then without adding any more product, I'm going to go back in with that Morphe M433 to just blend that out. Then we'll apply mascara. And if you want to make it a little more fun, because like I said, this isn't the authentic, this is more of the fun, costumey version, you can go back in with that liquid liner and almost draw little lashes underneath as well. And then you don't want to forget the beauty mark as well. Now you could put it up here, which was one super cute place to put it. I do have a natural beauty mark, so I'm just going to darken that. First, I'm going to use the Suna Cleore Film Noir Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to top it with the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Late Night Zen Rate. And then while that dries, I'm actually going to add another beauty mark because I kind of want both. Then I'm going to top it off with the high shine. Alright guys, this is the final look. As you can tell, I accessorized everything to complete the look. And I got all of my accessories off of Amazon, which I will link everything down below. But alright guys, that's basically it. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Welcome to the Roaring Twenties and I'll see you guys next time. Twenty songs stuck in my head. I have Star Wars Cantina songs stuck in my head.